Hello everybody and welcome back to Monster Hunter Rise! Latte and Snow got some new armor. Latte got an idiot suit. Snow got some Egyptian themed battle armor. <laughs> that is how we're doing this. What would you like to do? An urgent quest has come in. Just so you're aware, completing this urgent quest unlocks Hunter Rank 40. Our target is a Teostra, an Ultra Dragon that cloaks itself in flame. And when enraged, it unleashes an explosively devastating attack known as Supernova. Please be especially mindful of this, atta this attack. It's not something you can shrug off with a potion or two. Well then, good luck to you. I mean... Kinda is. If you have enough defense. Having enough defense is a big part of it, but, I mean, if you've got enough, you can kind of just shrug it off. Um... Yeah, count items, that works. These are the, available quests. the lava caverns! Let's go! The Emperor of Flame. You call him the Lord of Flame. Same thing, really. In the halls of Inferno, roam the restless souls. The lone monarch approaches with the fire he controls. He's here to judge the wicked who sully his domain. To dab them with his rage to eternal pain. Salute his reign. The Emperor of Flame. There's a bad time to mention we have negative fire resistance. <laughs> hey, we get some free deodorant. Don't actually know why it's giving us deodorant. Hey, Rajang's here. Rajang is awake here. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, Rajang doesn't like to sleep when there's an Elder Dragon around. And Magnamala is also here, who likes to fight with, like, every Elder Dragon ever. So, you know, actually I should just do main camp one. Away! Because this gets us an account item, and it also puts us right next to a hole. A very convenient hole. Now we go that way a little bit and we get to Teostra. <laughs> now, let's see if Latte performs any better in his idiot suit. I say idiot suit, it's, I mean, it's Camellios' palico armor. So, like, you know. It, it comes from a pretty cool monster. You see, R, it just didn't. We didn't, we didn't want to do it. Don't know how we didn't get hit there, but I'll take it. Now, Teostra, I've already put my sunglasses on. It would be nice and have been in the freaking lava -y area. I think at this moment we can't shrug off his supernova. But, um, you actually can with enough defense. If we had, um, b -b 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 uh, Kushala's armor, I would feel a bit more confident about taking it. Yeah, Teostra likes his fire. Lots and lots of fire. I mean, he is the Emperor of Flame, after all. It does make sense. So again, I apologize if I'm not talking a whole lot through this. I mean, this is an Elder Dragon. 
Ironically, this is the Elder Dragon that gave me the least amount of effort in... Yeah, least amount of effort. Least amount of trouble in World. So... With World, Teostra was easiest, followed by, um... Thalhazak. Followed by Kirin, and then Kushala at the frickin' top. I'm probably missing one. I don't think I am, though. Ow. <laughs> yeah, this is- I might die. Mate, Snow. Thank you, Snow. I'm thinking, and my nose is also itchy, which is not helping matters. I do not know why my nose is itchy. It just is itchy. It's itchy and scratchy. I've never seen The Simpsons. I don't know. My nose is still itchy. I well, I have an idea of why my nose is itchy. It's frickin' cat hairs. I'm getting stuck in my nose. Making it all irritated. There he goes off to a lava -y area. Which is convenient, because I don't know how much longer I'll be able to keep these on. I am not good at wearing glasses and such. And I don't even know exactly what it is about them that bothers me. Just makes the bridge of my nose, like, really funky feeling. Like it makes my the bridge of my nose feel fuzzy, if that makes any sense. Dodge. I really want his tail. Getting Teostra's tail is not easy, though, so... This may not actually happen. Now, I know why they gave us the deodorant. We've yet to actually be able to show it. That attack he just did, though, could have shown it. Uh, Teostra can inflict Blast Blight. But, as I believe we've shown before with other Blast Flight, it can be gotten rid of by just simply rolling a bit. Like, there's no real major need for deodorant. He's very hot right now. He's, he's become a very sexy boy. Bad jokes are bad. <laughs> okay. Half expecting him to, uh, supernova at any point now, because he is enraged. And he's still just spewing fire everywhere. He is enraged, but he's not covered in blast yet. That's what he needs for that. I forgot. He's just covered in fire at the moment. My brain was just like temporal mantle, trump temporal mantle now. But we don't, we don't have a temporal mantle. Mantles are a world thing, <laughs> and probably for good reason. They were a bit broken.
Ow. Yeah, there was really nothing I could do there. I started the attack and was... Yep. <laughs> kind of, uh, screwed myself there. Oh, he's coming closer. I, uh, it's faster for me to just run. Well, no. When I go to this camp, I can slide down. Ow. That was my own mistake, through and through. Making progress. Like, I'm not even gonna try to be like, oh no, no, that was me. That was all me. I zigged when I should have zagged. Can I, like, cross right here? No, I can't. Right, yeah, it's over here. Hey, buddy. Ooh. Shiny. Now he has some blast particles. I mean, it's not gonna be easy. Hey, we got his tail! Hell yeah! He's not happy about that, but I sure am. Poor little Riambas. They were just, like, chilling here, living their best lives. And then Teostra and me come along, and it's like, nope, you're all dead now. Put this defense up, thanks. Let me reload my thing. I knew I was gonna take the hit there, but it's better to have my uh, my axe reloaded. There we are, Blast Blighted. As a reminder, just roll a few times, same as when you're on fire. Like, there's, there's really no need for deodorant. Though deodorant will clear it, I think. Maybe yeah. deodorants are something else I've just never seen Teostra do. I don't know. Oh, hi, Rajang. I'll get to you in a minute, Rajang. Thanks for being hit, though. You know. You get your casual bongos going. They're not so casual. It actually isn't doing Rajang's theme. Wow, am I actually not Okay, for a second I thought I wasn't going to get the mounted finisher off, jeez. Oh, hi Magnamala! Well, I'll take the extra help. Like, I'm not gonna not gonna turn it down. <laughs> I was kind of expecting a turf war because yes, these two do turf war. I get one more attack off here. Yes, I can. There we go. Mounted finisher. Hey, we broke a wing! That's pretty helpful. 
I mean, we want to break horns too, but you know, I'll take wings. Ah, jeez. Keep rolling. Keep rolling around at the speed of sound. Got places to go. Gotta follow our rainbow. He can't stick around. He's gotta keep moving on. Just lies ahead. Only one way to find out. I'll stop now. <laughs> Sonic fans are like, oh god, why? Why are you doing this? Because I can, that's why. <laughs> that's the point where you're all learning I'm decently neutral evil. Well, more lawful evil, let's be honest. Nah, who am I kidding? I'm like, neutral evil. <laughs> I am not... Well, maybe. More lawful neutral. I don't know. I'm one of them. Definitely nothing good. <laughs> Cause, I mean, I can't exactly say I'm that lawful either, because like... I mean, I suppose a lawful evil person would still like jaywalk. Because, I mean, you know, like you could have a lawful evil thief. Because a lawful evil thief could, you know, I mean, that's just Robin Hood. Like, <laughs> I mean, I've stolen things, I've jaywalked, you know. Because Taoster wanted to be down there and yell at some things and then come up to where he should have been. <laughs> I don't think he's very happy. Good job, Latte. Good job. I mean, that'll theoretically be helpful. I say theoretically because, like, there's water everywhere, so dodge rolling will put the fire out on us. But, you know, if we end up, uh, Wirebug recovering into it while we're on fire, it's... It is helpful. Oh, we can dodge into it there. I gotta remember, I don't have Moxie, so I need to actually be careful. Because I wasn't careful earlier, and I got wrecked. I almost died to that again. Doing this, I was trying to do the switch skill. Ow. Come on, Taster, play nice, please. A little nice. Just a little, just a little nice. Just a tad. Just, just a tea. Ow, I just ran right into that. That's my own fault. That's not on you, Taster. See, he's being kind of nice now. I've got like one more hit of white sharpness in me. Okay, um... Yep, that's gonna hurt. Okay, I need to just Mega Potion. Regular potions are just not cutting it. <laughs> Oh boy, that did not go well. I don't know why I'm struggling so much. Well, it's probably because I'm talking a lot and I am a bit tired. Though thing, uh, we are actually probably getting decently close to the end of this series. Yeah, this is the same recording session that I ended up mentioning of me wanting to do another game soon. I might just wait till we're done with Rise, because we are getting fairly close to the end. Ow. I 
Like, we're not super close, but we're also still pretty close. <laughs> At least broke his horns, which is pretty nice. I think we've broken basically everything we can break on Teostra. You know, it was a fairly nice change of pace compared to fighting all the other Elder Dragons, of which we'd usually miss a few parts on. Come on, Supernova for me. You know you want to. This is gonna hurt. I wanted that. <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna take any chances. I'm just gonna heal. Come on, Teostra. You know you've got it in you. Thing is, I don't know if he can do it with broken wings. I don't know if, like, he loses that part of his moveset when he breaks his wings. Well, we knocked the anger out of him, so... <laughs> He's probably not doing it now. <laughs> Again, I apologize I'm not talking much. I am trying not to die for a second time. Which I almost did. <laughs> Ow. He's got paw smacked. Okay, he's limping. He's limping into the waiting arms of Magnamalo and Rajang. And neither of them care. Neither of them care. Why am I not surprised that neither of them care? They're fighting each other, though. So that's pretty helpful. There we go. Mounted finisher! <laughs> damage! That dealt so much less damage than us just doing that as a move. That was such a rude awakening for Teostra here. There he goes. Poor Teostra. He just wanted to rule over the lava caverns. Like, that's all he wanted. He was probably here the whole frickin' time. It's just the guild only noticed him now, so of course now is when he's a problem. As I come grab this shiny. Wyvern tier. I'll take it. It's points. I like points. Points are pretty cool. Wait, we need these. Don't we? Little bugs. 
Yes, we do. Now we only need two more. I know we need account items, but there's none nearby, I don't think. And stuff! We actually got a lot of stuff from that. I'll take it. And lots of money, even though we died. Which means we would have had a lot more money. But, you know. We got a new 7 star quest, we got a new cutscene. I can't be the only one that anytime I see the word cutscene, my brain always goes to, it's a scene that's cut out. Not like a cinematic. So, oh, we extinguished Teostra's flame! Excellent! Our efforts today put an end to the danger in the lava caverns without casualty. And yet, the Elder Dragons keep appearing. Can't help but ponder whether this is a, this is this means a head-to-head -head conversa conversation. Confrontation with Abushi and Narwa is close at hand. Ah, uh, but Elder Dragon, Smelter Dragon, we have you here, so what is there to be afraid of? Well, there's still more work more for us to achieve. Hop to it. Yeah, so I wanna leave the village. <laughs> nah. And after another, you continue to best these fabled Elder Dragons. Your skills really are impressive. Whenever I tell Hinoa about your hunting exploits, her face lights up with a gleaming smile as bright as the sun itself. Mm -hmm. So keep at it. Aim to be the paragon of hunters, so Hinoa can keep smiling as brightly as she does now. Oh. But that isn't to say Hinoa is the only one happy to see your accomplishments. Of course, I am as well. Speaking of, with the completion of this quest, you've unlocked Hunter Rank 40. Keep up the good work. Hunter Rank Cap is now at 999. But, we do need to reach Hunter Rank 50 for a thing. I wonder what that thing could be. Our meldings are complete, and we do have Ta uh, Taostra's armor to look at. So let's come and take a peek at our meldings. We also have a lottery going on. So bingo! Shock traps! Yay! Melding pot. Take the talismans! This was for ice attack, so... Okay, two ice attack. I'd rather have some slots there, but... Three ice attack! Okay... Wirebug Whisperer, not terrible, but... Eh. Steadiness, this is in critical eye now. Wall Runner, water resistance... Sleep resistance, fire resistance... I mean, a two and a one for a gem. It's Wide range, free meal and evade window with a slot, and two blight resistance. So we didn't really get anything we wanted. But we did get some stuff. Um, let's, uh... This is just random talismans. Nah, I don't think I want to do random. Let's... Let's, yeah, let's try for more ice attack. Ah, eh, no, critical eye. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I want critical eye. You will give me critical eye. Uh, I don't know if I actually want any more Rachnikadaki stuff. Don't really want Almadron stuff, so I can put a couple of those in here. We've got a ton of Defender Ticket 5s, so... Should just put six more of those in. Uh, let's see, we got some Diabolus stuff. Are you sure? I was already in the 50s. There we go. Uh, one of these will give us something with Critical Eye, hopefully. Hopefully it'll actually be something worth having with Critical Eye. Are you sure? I mean, I'm not sure, but 
I'm hopeful. And that, that counts for a lot. There we go. One of those will probably have <laughs> critical eye. Now, Teostra's armor, the Kaiser armor, which also looks really good. Look at that critical eye, that critical boost. Master's touch, which just gives us a flat 40% chance to just not lose sharpness when we're dealing crits. Teostra's Blessing, which gives us more fire damage, blast damage, prevents poison and venom, and negates no theft, which would be really helpful against Camellios. But we've already dealt with Camellios. So, you know. But this does look like freaking gorgeous armor. I love this armor. I love steampunk, and I like battle dresses, and this is both. It's a steampunk battle dress. Like... <laughs> I mean, that's also enough to mention just the flat 30% affinity this armor gives. Like, this is good frickin' armor. I like this armor. And, like, if you ever, if you did want to mix and match a bit, you could replace this with something, a pair of pants that just has, like, a single, uh, critical eye in it. And you'd be pretty, pretty set. You'd have full critical eye. So that, that, that is pretty nice. I do really like that armor. I don't really want to stop to make it, but I do really like it. Now, with that, I thank you all very much for watching. And hopefully I shall see you back here next time. As we go back to our regularly scheduled quests. See you all then.